and then when they see me coming, they're going to do the crab walk, going sideways. Right? Find another please person. Please don't like, you know, your, your pay drama fantasies. Let's just say they're just fantasies. 배우 눕고서 오시는 게가 가장 중요하고요. 그리고 그 다음에는 아 자기의 가지고 있는 아 자기 가지고 있는 스킬에 향상을 할수 있는 부분 그리고 갈수 있는 그런 문야를 찾아서. Because you've been here for so long. How do you think Korea has evolved in terms of welcoming foreigners? Like I went to Korea for the first time about eight years ago. Even that time, getting a visa was hard. Okay. For Filipinos, ah, but now it's super easy. That's what there are many Filipinos here. But how has Korea changed? I mean, for obviously there are more foreigners now. What's the status of you know the society? The answer to that question will actually depend on whether you're working with foreigners or you're not working with foreigners. Okay, let's just put it. I mean, I got to work with Koreans for sure. They have their own like working culture. Uh huh. Right. I mean, it might be a culture shock for a lot of people. So uh huh. It's not really you know that easy to adapt to it. Mm -hmm. But let's put it in the context of tourists, for mm -hmm. example, or if you're just gonna stay here for let's say six months. They're also welcoming. Very well for tourists. Very welcoming for tourists. There's a lot of things like motels or hotels or you know, small like hostels, guest houses, hostels, hostels, hostels yeah. or guest houses. There's a lot of things in Korea that will actually tell you that it's a tourist friendly city because you have a lot of services available for, for tourists. They have, and I, we were talking about it on our show like a few days ago about having this discovery pass card that is only available for, for, for tourists, tourists so that you can actually have free entrances to all of the, um, to most or at least discounted um, entrance tickets to most of the tourist sites or tourist yes, palaces yes. and everything and people are really I would say welcoming before they were just curious of foreigners when they see a foreigner it was before they would ask how did you come here who do you live with they would ask those questions but now they are a lot more comfortable with having tourists around with having foreigners around that they don't really ask the usual questions a lot of people ask this of uh -huh. me like if you're a tourist and then you're gonna go around so long. If you get lost and you ask a random person, can they speak in English? Will you have will you have an easy time to actually communicate with them? Oh my god. If you were here during the time I first I was don't... here, that was back in 1995. They had this term that I call Korean, especially in the subway. It is what I call the crab walk. <laughs> Sometimes you, I get so confused if I am actually standing in the right side of the platform or I have to transfer to the other side. Uh -huh. transfer. Like so before pa. Yeah, uh, been, uh, way uh, back uh, in the 90s. Yeah, okay, okay, I can yeah. see Koreans standing waiting at, uh, in the other doors and I would walk my way to ask them if I need to transfer. And then I can see them looking at me like at the side of their eyes. Like, and then when they see me coming, they're going to do the crab walk. Going sideways, and then when they reach the, the 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 end of the line, they will just go around and go back no to the first line. They will run away from foreigners. Like the moment that you ask them, ah, excuse well, me, they know, ah, they, they know ah, already ah, you're a foreigner. Yeah, because they because they I look like a foreigner. I don't look like a foreigner. Yeah, yeah. But now you can find a lot of young kids. Yeah, usually the young people. Yeah, yeah, who would even come to you and say, "Are you lost? Do you need help?" If they, if you look, if, if it looks like you're lost, it's a lot, lot more better. If you, we are just talking about asking people on the street. Actually, if you ask them, and even if they can speak in, in English and explain to you, what they usually do is like, for example, you're lost and you have a map. They will actually show you where to go. Yeah. How to go. If you're really lucky, they will even accompany you. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Not all the time, though. But Not all yeah, the time. That, that, Happens. If you're a foreigner, first time here in Korea, if you're a brand new Regugin in Korea, what are the things that you have to avoid or try not to do? The basic thing is avoid asking irritated looking people. Just don't try to push your luck when you feel like they're trying to avoid you. Because usually they try to avoid you for a reason, like they don't want to talk to you or uh, they don't yeah. want to like yeah. speak in English or they yeah. don't want to be stressed about it. So, you know, if so they, they look like they're running away, just let them be. Find and another person. don't like, you know, your, your pay drama fantasies. Let's just say they're just fantasies. I encounter a lot of people like, oh, Opa, let's... <laughs> Can I just say, I'm freaking out right now because behind me, I don't know if I can show you in video because it's like, it's usually not allowed, but behind me are Crystal, Song Sung Hon, and um, my favorite, Ishi. I don't know if I can. Can you see? Can you see? Ahira! Ahira! 
Creo que eso. Yo creo que está. For a foreigner, is it worth it to live um, in Korea as a foreigner? Because honestly, a lot of people, of course, have dreams or fantasies of living here. Probably K pop fans, K drama fans. It's okay. expensive to live here. First and foremost, if you are not here for work or if your family really has tons of money, then it doesn't even matter. Make sure you have a way or make sure that you're here because you found like a job to do. The thing is with everyone who speaks English, this is just applicable for everyone who actually speaks English. You have the edge if you come here in Korea. You can actually have, you know, find people who would want to learn English. But the thing is, the question still remains if you can do it like legally or not. It was a trend way back for foreigners to come here just to teach English. But these days, we have a lot of foreigners who's been doing that already. So it's really not good a market anymore. But before you come, make sure you have a backup plan. Is it worth it? Just like in any other city, I would suppose, you have to have ways to earn money to be here. It's not gonna be It's so not a easy. melting pot. Except, know. of course, if you actually speak Korean well enough, then you uh, really have that great edge. edge. Just to remind everyone, actually, even if you speak English very well, like fluent, native if you're speaker. not a native speaker, only seven countries of which the citizens are actually allowed to teach English here. If, let's say, you're from the Southeast Asia, yeah. um, no, no, you're not, not really allowed. There's been a lot of regarding allowing non-native speaker people to teach in Korea except of course if you're married to a Korean you are actually allowed legally to teach English in Korea now to wrap everything up um, what's next for Miss Jasmine Lee as of now I'm just trying to concentrate on my radio gig and hopefully that will be the start of another a whole new adventure for me. Do you me. plan to go back to politics? I never planned it going into politics. In it the just, first place, yeah, yeah. It, it just came to me and I got the offer three times to go into politics before I finally decided on going into it. I never thought of going to television. I never thought I'd be making movies. I never thought of doing anything from the media here in Korea when I first came here, but it happened. The opportunity was there. I didn't even know it's going to continue on. I just happened to be maybe at the right place at the right time. And I spoke Korean. That's the, the, that's the yeah, biggest thing. I, I know of a lot of people who've been in Korea as longer well, sometimes some of them are longer or as much as I have been here in Korea but they don't speak the language well Speaking enough. of speaking the language, can you just like give them a sample of how well you speak Korean? Yeah. And I'll try to understand it. I don't know if I can. <laughs> 한국에 오시게 되면은 뭐 정치적으로는 아마 아실 수는 없을 것 같지만 일단은 미디어에서는 일을 미디어를 통해서 아니면 미디어에서 미디어 비즈니스에서 일을 하기, 하시고 싶은 분들은 미디어들이 혹나 물론 미디어에서 일하시고 싶은 분들은 일단 오시기 전에 정말 경험을 많이 갖고 오시기 바랍니다. 그 경험을 아 그리고 어느 정도 한국어를 배우고서 오시는 게가 가장 중요하고요. 그리고 그 다음에는 아, 자기의 가지고 있는 아, 자기 가지고 있는 스킬을 향상을 할수 있는 부분 그리고 갈수 있는 그런 분야를 찾아서 대한민국에서 오시기 바랍니다. 네. <웃음> It will take me uh, another 23 years to be able to speak like that. Yeah, man. You need to be here. Yeah, actually, the, the, the main is you have to be. You have to be here. Living here and not yes. living here will actually yes. make a big difference in learning Korean. Because you're forced to actually speak in Korea. Thank you so much, Ms. Jasmine. Thank and I you hope for our me. viewers um, learn a lot being in Korea, living in Korea, working in Korea, and being around Korea. And so. Hopefully next time you guest me on your show. Oh nga. You can listen to our show through TBS EFM yes. application from TBS FM. You can download the app or you can go to YouTube and find TBS EFM live stream and you can listen to us. I'll put the link on the description. I'll be so. yeah, I'll be it's live every day Monday to Sunday, ten AM to twelve noon Korea time. Please yeah. watch ten every day. <laughs> ten every day. Ten every day for seven every day with Jasmine. Uh -huh. So wherever you are in the world you can actually listen to our radio show. And, and maybe you can learn a lot because I have a portion named Jasmine's Diary, which talks about a, which talks about my life here in Korea. If we have viewers who wanna get in touch with you, how can they get in touch with you? You can find my uh, Facebook page, just Jasmine Lee. You can send me a message, or you can just 
online we actually accept messages either from oh, YouTube tamana. or from TBS when the show is yes, going. Yes. So, so you can, can actually do a shout out for them. Uh -huh. You can exactly. ask questions for Miss Jasmine if you have more questions and you know just interact with her whenever she's um, live on air. Yeah. Thank you, Korean. Come to Nida. Basic, no more. Come to Nida. Come to Nida. Come to Nida.